Welcome back to Camp Witch Doctor. It's finally time to connect our battery to our robot. So we're really, really close to being able to turn it on and driving it for the first time. I can't wait for that. So exactly, that's your battery box. Go ahead and open that up. And you'll notice that you have two batteries and you have a charger in there. Now we're only gonna use one battery at a time in your robot, but if you have a match and you use up your battery, you have the other one on the charger so you can swap it out. Make sure you have a fresh battery for every match. Now let's take a look at how we're gonna charge our battery. Your robot comes with two 9-volt batteries as well as this charger. The charger connects via USB to power, so you can use any wall adapter that you might have, such as for your phone, uh, to plug this into the wall, or you can plug it into a laptop or any other USB charger. When you plug in your charger, you'll notice some lights turn on. That indicates that it's getting power. Now we've talked about polarity and making sure that we only connect red to red and black to black. This is the same case here, even though it's marked plus and minus instead of red and black, but it's the same thing. Plus to plus, minus to minus. If we take a look at the charger, you'll also see the plus and minus symbols here, which makes it really easy to match. So I see plus there, plus there, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my battery. And you'll see that little light turn red, which means that it's charging. Once it's finished charging, that light will be green, which tells you your battery is ready to use to drive your robot around. If you try to put the battery in backwards, it actually won't fit. And that's because these little slots here are sized specifically for these terminals to try to keep you from plugging it in backwards. However, if you try really hard, you can jam that in here, but it's actually gonna mess up these terminals. So if you find that you're having trouble putting your battery into your charger, don't force it, it's probably backwards. So we're gonna make sure we put it in the right way and we get that light. If you plug your battery in backwards, this light would be flashing red, which is another indicator that your battery is plugged in backwards. So slow down when you do this, pay attention, um, just to make sure that you're doing this safely and you're not gonna damage your battery. Now the battery, if you read the label, it says it's a nine volt battery, which means there's gonna be nine volts of power going to your robot. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna use a multimeter, which is a tool that lets us measure that voltage so we can see exactly what that voltage is. This is also a good way to see if your batteries are charged or not, if you don't have another battery to swap out. So go ahead and hold that up so the camera can see it. You'll see right now the number is super, super low. It's floating a little bit, but it's very close to zero. And we're gonna see a number hopefully. Yeah, so this is 7.76, so that's the actual voltage. So even though these batteries are labeled nine volts, they only charge up to about eight. So you'll have 8.1 maybe at most. And that's pretty typical because the nine volts is the nominal voltage, but the actual voltage is a little bit lower. It could also be higher in some battery types. So you see there's 7.76. So even though this battery will work, I would probably charge it a little bit if you were going into a real battle, just to make sure you don't lose because you ran out of battery. All right, perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect this battery. So we have the red and black leads here with this connector. So go ahead and find the battery lead that should match this connector, but it'll be the opposite side. All right, perfect. So the side with the connector that looks like the battery, you're gonna press onto the battery itself. So go ahead and do that. And if this turns out to be hard, don't force it too much. If you force it, it might actually bend the little contacts and you'll have to bend them back. Um, so just make sure you pay attention to what you're doing and press it in straight. Now really quick, before we plug in the battery for the first time, let's talk about a few little safety things. So first of all, the switch currently is on because we don't have that plug in it. So we're gonna make sure that the switch is off before we turn it on. And the other thing we wanna do is review all of our wiring. Remember I said if we have a red connected to a black, it short circuits our battery. So we're just gonna take a quick look over everything and make sure that we're not gonna do anything that's gonna harm our battery. So everything's looking really good. Awesome, it's off. So the last thing we're gonna do before plugging in the battery is we're gonna get your wheels off the table. When you plug in your battery, nothing should happen for a few reasons. The robot's not on, right? Your switch is off and your transmitter's not on. But sometimes things go wrong. If the robot does move by itself, you don't want it to drive off the table and into your stomach. This is not a dangerous robot, but you can imagine if you did something like this with Witch Doctor, let's say, it would be really, really bad if it drove off the table. So we're gonna use your battery box, which is a good size, and you're gonna put it under your robot so that the wheels are just off the table like that. Go ahead and plug it in, always making sure you connect red to red and black to black. The connector should only go in one way, so it makes sure that you're doing it correctly. 
But if you try hard enough, you can plug it in backwards and I've seen it done. So it's always a good idea to make sure that you're connecting it the right way. All right, now everything in your robot is connected and we're ready to turn it on. Tune into the next video where we will focus on how to turn it on and how to test that everything is working correctly.